Well, hello and welcome back, Motorsport fans, uh, and you're very welcome to this video. Now, I'm just going to quickly run through um, a part of rebuilding these KTM 50s, which is the uh, the deck height, or what uh, KTM seem to call the X distance. Okay. Now, to do this, you need a special tool. Um, it's called a deck tool. KTM uh, do make one of these, or well, I've purchased this one from Nilo Concepts um, from a place called F1 Moto here in Australia. So Nilo Concepts make it, um, and they come in different sizes. So for 50s or, or 65s or 85s. So make sure when you purchase one, you get the right one. It was $50 from uh, Nilo, uh, F1 Moto, um, but they were extremely quick with uh, delivery. So I was here in 22 hours, um, believe it or not. You need one of those, and you also need a, uh, a feeler gauge, feeler gauge set. Um, just your basic feeler gauge from your auto store. Just going to quickly run through the uh, the manual and how it references what to do, and I'm going to show you um, physically on the bike. So feel free to skip to that that part if you are if you're not interested in how the manual is describing it. So here we go on page 109 of the repair manual. We've got checking the X distance, which is your deck distance, or some people call it your squish. Okay. Now, the X distance is a distance defined for the piston protrusion when the cylinder is clamped down and the piston is on top. So what it is, is if that's your barrel there, it's how much your piston protrudes the barrel, okay? And what we've got here, and when we, you'll see when we put it on the bike, this part here is where the piston's going to sit. So we're measuring the gap between where the piston sits and the top of this tool, all right? Now, KDM is calling for zero tolerance to 0.1 of a mil. So basically, it's saying it can be harder, just below touching, or 0.1 of a mil, okay? So we'll be using this size feeler gauge, 0.1 of a mil. If you look here, the piston should not raise the gauge off the cylinder. So that's saying, when we do this test, if the piston raises the gauge off the cylinder, you need to change things, okay? Now we adjust the squish, or the deck height, or the X distance, as KDM like to call it, via the gaskets. So when your um, cylinder screws on, or bolts onto the motor, to the cases, we have a gasket there. Now we come with multiple gaskets in the rebuild kit, um, and we select those gaskets depending on what the squish is like. So it can be a bit time consuming because we have to bolt the cylinder down, torque it up, Okay, 20 newton meters, all right? And then um, check, check the X distance, and then if it's not correct, unbolt the cylinder again, change gaskets, and go from there, okay? So we've got um, the, X distance, the X distance must be checked very carefully. The X distance is too large, the compression decreases, and the engine loses power. If the X distance is too small, the engine knocks and overheats, all right? So bear that in mind. Okay, so what we've got here is position the piston at top dead center and check the X distance. The piston should not raise the gauge off the cylinder. X distance, the distance from the adjusting gauge to piston. All right, and there's our tolerances. Okay, seeing the X, the X distance is adjusted by inserting cylinder base gaskets of various thicknesses. Check the X distance, remove the cylinder. Then if we, if we need to do, replace the cylinder base gasket by the cylinder base gasket of the appropriate size. Finishing work, install the cylinder, check the X's, and so we're just going through and finding the correct gasket um, for our bike to get the uh, the best tolerance we possibly can. Okay, so now to show you the uh, the process in the real world, what I've got here, I've got a fresh top end, fresh piston. I've installed the cylinder head. I've got the thickest base gasket um, that I used last time, and I've got the four studs with the nuts torqued up to 20 newton meters as the manual calls for. Now here's my deck tool, and the main thing you want to make sure is you are absolutely bang straight in the middle. So you want to get use that um, that thread there as a guide to get your tool right in the middle, and then you want to line up here. Okay. Okay. So now turn the motor over, and we see if it pushes it off. Now that feels pretty good. So that's just shy. There, so we get to the very top, where it's just shy. Then I get our feeler gauge with the 0.1 mil to make sure our gap isn't too big. And that fits in there, but it's a bit tight. So that's pretty much spot on because our tolerance is zero to 
to 0.1, and that's in between. It's probably like a 0.05, so that's pretty good. Now, just to show you, that isn't touching, okay? But it is less than 0.1 of a mil, so that is in spec. Now, if we came to the top here, and it got the top there center, and it bumped it up a little bit, that would mean our cylinder needs to rise, okay? And to do that, we have to pull the cylinder back off and put another gasket in, okay? Or if we're on a small gasket, we just put a big gasket in. Because I'm on the largest gasket, the largest thickness gasket, I've got to uh, double them up, which you can do, and you put another one in, retorque the bolts again, and then recheck it for tolerance, okay? If we got to the point, you know, and it was a top dead center about there, and we put our feeler gauge in and it was really sloppy, we'd have to lower it. Now to do that, we take it off again and put a thinner gasket in, okay? And that would lower, that would lower the cylinder. We torque it back up, check our, uh, check our tolerances and go from there, okay? But this is uh, the correct tolerances, so we're in spec. That's all there is to it, guys. Once you get your head around it, it's pretty simple stuff. I, um, I suggest you use the manual or use, use the beginning of this video, have a watch um, uh, as, as to what we're actually doing, and then, uh, and then go ahead and do it yourself. Thanks very much for watching, really appreciate it. See you on the next one.